History matters because it prepares you for your future and it prepares all of humanity for the future that we're facing. The knowledge that you learn about before and the past is going to be used by yourself because of the skills that you learn through the discipline of history and for whatever career you are in, whatever you join, uh, wherever you go. Uh, people always need to know what happened before so they can prepare for what's next and what's in the future. And that's why being in history matters so you can know what the past taught for the future. History is great basis for that, a great foundation for whatever you do. I don't think you have to be just a history teacher or a history professor. Or, you know, I mean, I people have gone into business, people have gone to law school, people have changed their mind and decided to go to med school, and I still think that that helps them, you know, conquer whatever problem is before them and find the answer. Um, and so I think History doesn't limit you to, oh, you're just going to be a history teacher. You have to go on to law school or something like that. Um, it just teaches you how to be able to approach the world and, and be successful. If you have a background in history, you can work for the National Park Service and be a guide at a national park. You can be a professor. You can work in a museum with artifacts. You can be an archivist like I am. I always liked hearing people say that history was a great profession for lawyers because it teaches you how to make an argument. So you read the sources, you can build up the evidence to support your case and propose that to other people. And so learning those skills as a history major can allow you to do a variety of things. So we are readers and writers and a lot of our life is about reading other people's books and articles primary sources in uh, dusty libraries, artifacts that people dig up around the world, paintings, dresses, architecture, uh, and then we write about that. So personally for me, as a first-generation American, as a Mexican-American, I'm really interested in uh, understanding Latino history in the U.S. and how we became uh, a part of this beautiful mosaic that we have uh, in our country today, how they contributed, how they were excluded, um, and then just, you know, uh, how we built, you know, the country and trying to see the different perspectives of how America was built, of how the world has been shaped by different peoples whose stories have been often left out. It's bigger than just getting done with your paper or anything like that. It's, it's bigger than that. And, I, I think you just go forward with that kind of mentality into the real world. You don't have to memorize dates to be a history major. I think people always think history from elementary school or high school is just a string of dates that you're trying to memorize, and that's not what it's about. If you're good at memorizing dates, great, but the bigger picture is knowing why those dates are important. The skills you learn will teach you the importance of the context of history. Lots of young people come to university and they think I'm going to become, like I did, an engineer or an accountant or a lawyer. So taking a history class offers you some invaluable skills that will prepare you for those careers. And majoring in history, just like majoring in literature or philosophy, teaches you how to think about the world, how to write, how to make an argument how to deliberate with other people, how to be a good critical thinker. And those skills are transcendent. Most of the students who start university today will enter a job in four years that doesn't exist today because the world is changing so fast. So to think about entering university and training for a particular career might not be the best way of approaching it. You might be better off thinking about skills that you can build over the course of a lifetime.